morning and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us right here in the studio is Stephanie Pavo from Memorial Hospital Physical Therapy. How are you today, Stephanie? I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to a great day on the slopes. It's a beautiful day <laughs> out there. Absolutely. And obviously, if you've got good knees and arms and everything else, uh, it's an even better day. Yes, it is. Uh, thank God for exercise. because <laughs> Otherwise, I would be in big trouble. <laughs> and uh, so let's talk about, let's give everybody kind of an overview about physical therapy at Memorial Hospital. One of the great things to say about it, of course, is, is your location. Oh, our location is great. We really lucked out in the space. We have a large space in the bottom of a former gym. So now we've got tons of room. We've got an area that we're working right now for uh, functional training where we can do battle ropes. Um, we have ladder drills, hurdles, all sorts of stuff. And then we have the typical, the bikes, the our treatment tables where yep. we do hands-on stuff. And it's a great space. It's really good. We've got pl plenty of windows. It's nice and bright. <laughs> and, you know, one of the things, too, it's not crowded in there. Oh, it's You know, not it's not one of those that where everything is kind of packed right in. You've got space. Uh, and that, you know, when you're doing physical therapy, it's kind of one of those things. It can be a little intimidating. You know, maybe you're in pain or whatever. Being able to have that space is really makes you feel more comfortable. Oh, it's great. And it's enough space so that you're not right on top of another right. patient. You can be here with one patient, the other therapist can be in another location. We have uh, an area that behind closed door for a completely private room. We have curtains for semi-private. I mean, it's there's lots of options. It's a great place to get people better. There you go. <laughs> and you have a great staff there too. Just, Our you staff. Know, you know, I hate, it's kind of funny when you say friendly, but everybody is friendly. Everybody is welcoming. Uh, every time I go in there, it's, it's you know, I feel like I'm on cheers. Rob, you know. <laughs> yeah, we do have a good team. I mean, it's wide open. We're with each other all day, so it's nice to be able to talk to each other. And a lot of people know each other. It's a nice community, so it's nice to be able to say, oh, hey, Mr. So-and-so or whatever, and just sort of check in on how people are doing. Absolutely. So what do you focus on primarily there yourself, Stephanie? Myself, I do a lot of posture stuff. Right now, my clientele is a little older because it's winter. We don't have the climate that you can go out walking. So right now, I'm doing a lot of functional stuff as far as getting people walking, getting their balance, getting them safe to get in and out of the chair so that they're not falling. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the ice, you can't help that, but you can try to strengthen them as best they can so their reactions are good. I do have quite a few knees because it is ski season and the quintessential backs because we're shoveling snow. I mean... I have a varied caseload, really. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the variety. And uh, the other thing, too, is that it, it, in terms of diagnostic, I mean, you guys know your stuff and can help people on the path to recovery. We definitely can. I mean, a lot of times we have the, all the tests, but just talking to people, watching people move, you get so much insight from that. It's We've got all the things that we learn in school, but just the contact, people to people, is where you learn most of your information about the patient. A patient doesn't even realize they're limping sometimes and you're like, yeah, is that sore? Well, a little bit. I'm like, you're really limping. And they're like, well, yeah, I guess it is sore. Right. And, and I think, and that's one of those great, great features. It's not just, you know, what the doctor might have put on the paper. It's like you say, you're walking in going, is Rob standing sideways? You know, what is, what's up with that? No, I feel great. Yeah, because sometimes the injury, yes, that's what's on the paper, but sometimes you dig deeper and you find what the root cause of that injury may be so that you fix the whole person. You don't just focus, oh, it's just a shoulder, oh, it's just an elbow, oh, it's just that. Sometimes we're able to address a larger area. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. So um, let's talk about, uh, um, like I said, the space. You've got, so you're in your own space, um, very your comfortable. Own space. And, uh, and very easy to find. It's, you know, you don't have to worry about kind of not, I don't want to say fighting hospital traffic, <laughs> but you've got just this great own entrance off of yep. the highway and yep you pull right in the parking lots right there there's no stairs no hills no curbs you walk right in the door one level and then bam we get we see you we get you going and off we go and then next thing you know you're strong and you're saying goodbye to us and you're <laughs> back to the activities you love to do now you also mentioned before you have that separate side which i know uh during the beginning of the summer was a, there was all that construction going on so let's talk some more about that and how that can uh, really help out some of your uh, your patients. That side's great because when you are at the higher end of the spectrum, we're, we're able to do a lot more active stuff. We have a bunch of plyometric boxes so that you can jump up and down on those. More space to run. You don't have to worry about um, different clientele. Like if I have an 80-year-old person, 
they may not want to go over there, but my younger people are more, I'm not going to put that in a bucket age-wise, but the right people now, that are more active doing things that are more active, they have the space to be able to run and not worry about bumping into anybody. And you've got tons of mirrors, and you can really see how they're moving when you've got a larger space instead of just a little cubby hole of this is where we have to work out. Right. Well, that's awesome. And you've put in a whole bunch of new equipment. Yes. Too, oh, so. yeah. The hospital bought us. The most recent addition was one of our spinning bikes. And then we have a balance machine that everyone's like, what is this? I mean, we have one person that's dying to go on there. He's not ready to go on there, <laughs> but he's dying to go on there. But it's we've got the hospitals really supplied us with the tools that we need. And then we also have tools that you can just take home with you because not everybody has room in their house or the desire to put treadmills, bikes, weight machines. So there's a lot of stuff that you can use from your own house. I mean, I have a two by four in there that I use for some things and yeah. everybody can find a two by four. I mean, it's it's nice to have the equipment, but it's also nice to have the carryover. Of, this is how this translates to home. Or if you wanna go to the gym, we have this equipment, try it out here, see if you like it. This is how you can use it at the gym. So how does somebody get uh, involved with you? We get involved with your physical therapy department. Well, there's several different ways. Um, depending on what insurance product you have, you may not need a doctor's referral. So that's the first point is you can call your insurance. Do I need a doctor's referral? If you do, then you will have to go through your doctor. The other piece is whether you need an orthopedist referral versus a primary care. Some insurances need the primary care over the orthopedic referral. Um, and it's not just an injury. If you're just like, you know, I'm not very stable on my feet. I'm not really hurt, but I want to get better. Come on in. We have services of bike fitting. Spring will be here eventually. Um, running evaluation. So if you want to improve your running technique. So some of these services are cash based. Some of these services are insurance based. So it's like a multifaceted, whether you need the doctor's referral or whether you don't. But sometimes a doctor's referral is the easiest so that we cover all the bases and right. insurance requires it, we have it. And it gives us a little bit more background starting point. And I want to touch base. You mentioned about the, uh, the uh, bike fitting and the kind of the running analysis. And I know some people who've done that. And they said it was night and day from when they were riding their bike to when it was readjusted to them. Now all of a sudden they were riding pain-free and I'm sure much, much better for them. Yeah, much so, more efficient. I mean, just a little tweak of handlebar height, saddle height. I mean, I'm not a bike fitter, but I know there's a lot of adjustments that can be made, and it does make a huge difference. The biomechanics of your body all of a sudden work to your advantage, and you're not fighting this bike to do a hobby that you enjoy. Right, because a lot of people do. They just, you know, they get their bike, and they never adjust anything. And what a difference that makes. Oh, it really does. It's and, enjoyable. And the thing, same thing with about running, too, um, is the way that you run and what a difference that can make. Oh, yeah. I... I have a background in track and field. I was a division one track and field athlete. So I know a lot about running and it does make a big difference. I mean, I play kickball in the Valley and I look at people and I'm like, they just lift their knee. It would be so much more efficient. <laughs> They'd be so much faster. So yeah. just looking at little things. I mean, that's the curse of being a physical therapist, unfortunately, is you're out observing all the time and you're seeing nuances all the time. And yeah. when you're not in the office, you just have to bite your tongue. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, Stephanie, thanks so much for coming by today. Oh, thanks for and having me. And if somebody wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? The best way is to call us. Our phone number is 603-733-5921. Uh, we will answer the phone. If we are not on the able to answer the phone, please do leave us a message. Um, we're not here on the weekend, so if you have an urgent need, please give us a call. We can usually get you in within 24 hours yep. and get you back to where you need to be, get you at least some pain relief, get working on motion or whatever the situation is. But the best way to reach us is 733-5921. That sounds great. Well, Stephanie, awesome. thanks so much for coming by. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.